Gotta admit, induction hobs, not a fan. Meal one. So I'm gonna take you through today. <sighs> <laughs> Brain freeze. No, start again. <laughs> start again. I'm gonna take you through a day's eating. So the first meal is oats. I always have this on season or off season. We're gonna go for 100 grams. which is uh, around 60 grams of carbs. We're then gonna add one banana, which is about 110 calories and uh, about 30 grams of carbs. Bang that in the microwave. Two minutes. that up. Then we're going to add 20 grams of flaked almonds, 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 which is 10 grams of fat, the essential fats. We're going to add 30 grams of blueberries, I can get into it. Ugh. I hate these packets. <laughs> oh, we're in. So I'll go for 30 grams of blueberries. The frozen. Yeah, you can have them fresh. Most people say you should have it fresh, but I like them frozen because when you add the crunch to the almonds, these just have that cold texture inside the warm oats. I absolutely prefer them frozen. Blueberries are a great antioxidant, plus there's some extra carbs in there also. Uh, and then to finish off, we've got two scoops of the Blue Lab Whey. Uh, this is a whey protein concentrate and um, very low in calories, uh, high in protein. So two scoops is around 50 grams of protein. So it's a bit excessive, 50 grams, but it's better to have more than to have less, I say. There you have it. Mule one. I'll put the calories up, the whole calorie value up on this now. <laughs> We're on to meal two now. So we've got four full large big eggs. And there's around 320 calories in kids, uh, 30 grams of protein, and I'd say around 20 grams of fat. Not rehearsed <laughs> at all. <laughs> I prefer them poached. You can have them however, scrambled, um, even fried if you want, but just if you're gonna fry them, use like avocado oil or coconut oil, something like that. So I'm gonna get the grill on because Amy, and she swears blind she hasn't, but when we moved into the new house, a lot of things went missing and the toaster went missing for one. So um, yeah, not happy about it. And cheese grater, two things. Wow, <laughs> I didn't realize how many calories were actually in bread. So I don't normally have bread that often. On my off season, I can be more relaxed, but when I'm dieting for a show, I substitute um, rice for, for bread, but yeah, it's saying on here there's 36 grams of carbs per two slices and 260 calories. It's not that bad, especially if you're bulking. Another burnt your toast. Yeah, <laughs> disastrous, wasn't it? That? <laughs> Chef Amelan. Dare say I'm a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to making poached eggs. He says as he busts this one now. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> meal two. So we're on to meal three now, which is conventional chicken and rice and green peas. So for each serving, so I have this meal twice. So I have 200 grams of chicken breast, which is around 50 grams of protein. And then for my carb sauce, I go for white rice, white basmati rice, or whichever when you're off season. Um, and that's for 100 grams cooked weight is 30 grams carbs. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting all my protein in by not overloading 
with carbs and just see how that goes. Keep the metabolism going by doing a bit of cardio in the morning. Nothing major because obviously I'm on off season, but 20, 30 minutes fasted, taking Rocky for a walk, um, just trying to keep the metabolism fired up. When I'm prepping for a show, obviously I'll always, always uh, cook my rice uh, just because most packets of rice has got like sunflower oil or vegetable oil in just so it cooks quicker in the microwave. Um, so it's not a bad thing, you can prep on that, um, but I just like to know exactly what, what's in there if I cook it myself. But off season, oh, off season, you know, whatever, we've got Chinese style, jasmine style, I love jasmine rice, sticky rice. Got golden vegetable, Mexican style, so <laughs> anything to just keep um, chicken style, <laughs> anything to keep the enjoyment in my food there. Because obviously, when you're prepping for a show for 16 weeks, you have to be quite bland. Obviously, you can play with spices and stuff, but off season, you want to try and enjoy it. So then, when you come to go on to on season, you can do it without fail. If you're ever cooking, I use either avocado oil or coconut oil. Um, either one. Coconut oil is brilliant; just gives a bit of a sweet taste. Avocado oil. It's first time trying it this this past few weeks, and I've, uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's quite nice, and it adds clean, essential calories into your diet as well. Uh, then we're going to go chicken breast. As well, guys, you already know this because I um, I promote them quite a lot, and I've been with them for the last few years but uh, if you ever want to go and check out where I get all my meat from it's musclefood.com uh, and they supply all fresh meats organic meats if you want to go down that route and then they, they supply a lot of, of everything really like that avocado oil get all my fats from there um, so yeah like I say they are brilliant and everything under one roof so whenever I'm cooking I always always cook more than I need to, so I never cook per day. I always cook a um, massive batch of off. It just saves on pots <laughs> and it gets you prepped for a few days. Spice going in, which is garlic. Well, we love garlic. Smoked paprika, natural thermogenic as well. And then we've got smoked sea salt. If you want to be extra healthy, you can go for pink Himalayan salt, but uh, I absolutely love this stuff. Awesome for cooking with. that how much water are you drinking at the moment um so i tend to get in around five liters a day um especially around training most of it's around training so i have like 500 milliliters before in my pre-workout drink so bca drink and um, then around 500 as i'm training around 500 after so 1.5 round training and then the rest of it 3.5 spaced out over the uh, the day Going for 200 grams of white basmati cooked rice, cooked white rice, which is around 60 grams of carbs. And then we're going to go for 200 grams of cooked chicken weight, and that's around 50 grams of protein. That beef in the background is my peas ready. I'm going to go for around 50 grams of peas. I think it's around six. Oh, perfect. There's around six grams of carbs in peas, but I just prefer them. When I'm on season, I always have broccoli, green beans, or asparagus. So when I'm off season, push the bow out and out. <laughs> green peas, garden <laughs> peas. Same seasonings on the, on the salmon as well. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, lemon and garlic goes quite well with salmon. Um, Ah, uh, paprika. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! 200 grams of rice. So for the salmon fillet, I have two of these uh, from Muscle Food. And they, they're on average 140 grams um, cooked weight. So in the salmon fillets, we've got 140 in weight, uh, which is around 30 grams of protein. You've got 18 grams of fat. 200 grams of rice, <laughs> uh, which is 60 grams of carbs, 50 grams of peas, 60 grams of carbs, 
Uh, so a nice balance of protein, fats and carbs for meal five. Now on to meal six. Every night when I was 13, 14, uh, I used to be a pot washer in the local restaurant. Pickwick's was the restaurant. And uh, yeah, I used to pot wash for most of the night and then the final hour, which was between 10 and 11, I would prep all the homemade chips for the next day. So this is a bit of a cheating way to cook your potatoes quicker. Because I'm always cooking in mass, I found all different ways of doing it. I know people are going to moan about putting it in the microwave, but if you just put it in for a couple of minutes, like four or five minutes, uh, and then have the oven on really hot, so 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, um, put it straight into there so it crisp them all, so they're cooked, and then crisp them all quick as probably 20 minutes it'll take, something like that, rather than taking like over an hour to cook. Mm -hmm. Terry tips. Terry tips. <laughs> oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're on to meal six, which is the final meal of the day, and that is fillet steak with white potato and peas, asparagus, any veg you want. Oh yeah, I've just seasoned the steak with the same seasoning as my salmon and my chicken. So <laughs> just to keep it uniform, paprika, smoked sea salt and garlic. Yeah, medium. I like medium. Um, my dad always used to teach me to have well done. And then when I used to work in the kitchen, when I was telling you about the potatoes, as well, um, I had a really good manager who was a chef. And he taught me medium rare is the best way to have a steak. Um, but if you ever run a restaurant, I think medium to save this back because someone who does medium rare is like a bit blue. That is horrible. What about you? Medium. You don't even eat steak. He's, <laughs> medium. Eat steak. He's a weirdo. <laughs> you know, chicken. Give me chicken. Yeah, he goes to a steakhouse and eats chicken. Who does that? I love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so for meal six, we've got fillet steak at 170 grams um, cooked weight. That is around 35 grams of protein and around 15 grams of fat. Again, we've gone 50 grams of peas, but you can have asparagus, uh, green beans, whatever you fancy, even iceberg lettuce. Craig likes iceberg lettuce now. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go for potatoes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> Ow! The last meal. Carb sauce is white potato. Uh, as you can see, the rest of it's rice. Uh, this is white potato, 500 grams if possible, which is around 85 grams of carbs. So we're having a big influx of carbs before bed. Uh, I know that's not a rule of thumb, uh, but when I'm trying to bulk and put weight on, that's a great way of doing it. <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit of a mammoth task at half nine, ten o'clock at night. But there we have it. We have all six meals prepped and ready to show you for the day so just a recap of what we've got we've got the uh, 100 grams of oats 20 grams almonds 30 grams blueberries two scoops whey protein we've got four poached eggs two granary uh, toast bread we've got 200 grams chicken 200 grams white rice 50 grams peas times two then we've got meal five 100, uh, 140 grams of salmon uh, we've got 200 grams of rice, 50 grams of peas, and then to finish, we have 170 grams of steak, 500 grams of white potato, and 50 grams of peas. Other calories I've consumed are from liquid sources. So um, I have the Targo around training, uh, my BCAA, which is a supplement, uh, I'll class that as food, and a whey protein shake post workout with carbs in. So uh, I'm still getting other uh, carb sources in it as well as this, but these are my complex carbs. Next to all the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, much appreciated. This is a video we did because you guys commented uh, on my previous video in the comments asking to see my food and nutrition. So I really hope this has helped. All the um, breakdown of the food is, is within the video or in the description. Um, if there's anything else you wanna see, and just please let us know in the comments and we will try to uh, accommodate that. Uh, so just want to say, 
huge thank you and I'll see you next time.